PLM workflow for Model Manager allows companies to graphically map critical business processes, bringing them under control through visibility, traceability and accountability. PLM workflow is easily configured and deployed with no requirement for programming or customization. The example shown here is a simple engineering change order which demonstrates the key features of PLM workflow. Creation of this workflow template is shown in an accompanying movie called PLM Workflow Administration Workflow Creation. For the purpose of this demonstration, Designer1 is a member of the owning group at each step in the process. Initially, a packet or folder is created. This will be attached to the workflow definition and be routed through the workflow. This packet contains objects related to the process, such as models, drawings or documents. Now that the packet is created, objects relevant to the change order are copied into it. Next, we assign this packet to a workflow. Using the drop-down list, select the required workflow. Note that a graphic preview is given of each workflow providing clear visual information. This is important for new users who now get a quick and clear understanding of the business processes. For the purpose of this demonstration, we select and use the ECO demo workflow. At this point we have the opportunity to add a comment. All information such as comments, date and time are logged giving a full audit history. Notice a new item on the toolbar called My Workflow Tasks. This lists all tasks waiting for the user's attention. Here we can see two tasks on the user's list including the workflow instance we have just created ECO 2099. Notice also that there is a callback date attribute this allows the user to order and prioritize his tasks. We can double click the task to open its properties window. Once again we get clear visual feedback on the stage this task has reached in the workflow. First let's zoom in on the graphic. The yellow color indicates which step the packet has reached in the process. The green highlighted routes indicate the next possible steps. Detailed instructions can be given at each step making it easy for new users to learn the process. We are ready to send the engineering change request forward for approval, so select the complete task option. This is a compulsory three-way parallel route. Approval must be gained from each user or user group. Before sending it forward, comments are added which will be included in the body of the email sent to the users in each group. The initial step is now complete and the ECO has been sent. Clicking OK will return us to our workflow task list. As Designer1 is a member of each approval group, three additional tasks are now added to our job list. Let's start by looking at the design approval. Notice that the highlighted blue lines indicate where the workflow has passed. Using the Structure tab, we can easily access the packet containing the relevant database objects, such as models and documentation relating to the change order. Here we review a PDF of the affected assembly. Satisfied with the change request, we can grant approval using the Complete Task option as before. Using the right click mouse option we can action the task without needing to open the tasks properties window. Purchasing decides to set a callback date as they are too busy to deal with the approval request at this minute. The callback date is shown in the workflow task window allowing the task to be sorted by callback date. Finally purchasing grants its approval. A 
approvals are complete and the process reaches an approval gate where approvals are checked to determine the route forward. Here the change request can be rejected, returned to the originator for more information, or moved forward for actioning. First, we must confirm that approval has been granted from the three previous steps. We can check this from the audit trail, but note that email notifications would also have been sent as the approvals were granted or refused. Click on a step to see audit information recorded against it. From here we can step through the process reviewing the audit trail. Alternatively, we can select a number of steps and review the audit details as a list. In this case, we want to check details against the three approvals. We can show a simplified view of the audit list and then resort by date to see the latest entries first. We can now see full details of the approval steps. Using this information, we can now make an informed decision about the next step. Notice here the routing options. We can return to the originator, or we could reject. Sending to a rejection node will terminate all open steps on a workflow. On a more complex workflow there could be tasks waiting in parallel steps. These will all be terminated and removed from the user's task list as soon as the workflow is sent to the terminating step. The change order is approved and is ready to be sent forward for work. On this route we have optional steps. In this case we can select either electrical or mechanical changes, or both. This allows us to build flexibility into the workflow. We can also notify additional users at any step. Here we need to let Designer2 know that the ECO has been approved and is moving forward to work in progress. As a member of the designer group, we receive this task to complete. Although this task is important, Designer1 cannot pick up this work at present, so he needs to reassign it to another member of the group. Note, as well as reassigning it, he could take ownership himself, if it was a change that he wanted to take responsibility for. This would remove it from the other group members' task lists. On this occasion, he reassigns the work to Designer 2. We are now logged in as Designer 2. Designer 2 opens the Task Properties window to check what is required. From the Structure tab, he can start to work on the models without having to go and find them from the database. Checking the audit trail, we can clearly see where Designer 1 has reassigned the work to Designer 2, maintaining accountability amongst the users. In today's competitive climate, it is vital to be in charge of your business processes. PLM Workflow allows you to automate these processes and bring them under control through improved visibility, traceability and accountability. There are no programming skills involved, and with less than a day's training you will be building and deploying your own workflows, from engineering change to new product development, or even simple document sign-off. For more information, contact CSI at info at csi-europe.com.